morning. Oh, hell. Been too long, girl. I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, oh. I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh. Oh, mister, you... I thought I was gonna be... Oh, go! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. Oh, you... You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. 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 Have a field day on this. Come on, girl. All right, girl. Yeah. Yeah. You're all right, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Goddamn problem. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Doc, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. <laughs> Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, What's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah.
What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. and Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. into a bunch of killers, I mean it. Hello, mister. Mm. 
Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm? Mr. Bullard? Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah. Well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's 
Break through these clouds. Oh. My God. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Author and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lighting. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrieking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. <laughs> Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. Best try another spot. Nope, not there. Should we, uh, think about heading back? <laughs> that could be him. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascend! Ascend! Oh, my Lord! Oh, ah, the wind speed is picking 
up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, yeah, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Aye, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Shade! Up there! You're just Bro, Tristan's. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. What a day! They ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches!
left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's going to swing. I'm going to make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <clears throat> yep. Hey, 
Well, I'd keep moving if I was you. <sighs> what did I tell you? Get the hell out of hey, here! Hey, calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Ah, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Sure, why not? I saw some milkweed nearby. The milkweed's got these uh, clusters of little pink flowers. Okay, then.
Easy now. Lots of flavors about with all these plants and herbs nearby. Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind, I can't help now. You ain't gonna help us, just keep moving on. Why are you okay, shutting up, then, partner? Hold still. He's my husband. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well I ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you! Thank you both! We'll land the boat in the morning, when the prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marston? Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh -huh. Oh, do 
I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Oh. Okay. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Uh, oh. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he nice, fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Oh, my God. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Shut up! Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Hey, my 
Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. You count for me, I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four Oh, so? very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. 18, well, this poor fool's going to get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs>
Nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them and can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us! Fight back, fight around, or we will gun you down. Can't do that, fellas. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Yeah. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so it might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then? Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. 
You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. This is why the ladies love you, Bill. At least I'm loyal. What are you trying to do? Brush the dirt off? Why are you messing with me? You might want to start with washing. I won't Try tell you again. Once. Goddamn fool. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Come on! Kane! Kane! I'm sure he'll turn up. He's been gone a while. Well, he'll be back when he's hungry.
Help a blind man. There you go. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Idiot. Problem, partner. You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here, shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money, but revenge now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason. That Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Oh, 
I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise!
from that coach! Let's go! Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite, take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are going to need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk, figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Need you now, girl.
Forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why I'm out here, well away from it. They come for me, but I'm watching. I never sleep. I never do. Thank you. 